I really got to leave my back there longer. Yep, exactly. There you go. There you go. I mean, look at that perfect drop. Yeah. And look how that's holding. So now the question is, this is where I would want to know. Yeah. What did you do to make that work? How come that was so much better than all the other ones? It felt like much. It felt like my back was facing the noodle, and this was being let out. Uh, more so than getting fast early, it's just kind of letting it out. So if I had a uh, a railroad track here, it almost seems like left after impact is up, and right before impact is down. Okay, then, you know, well, that totally makes sense. Yeah. I mean, we're working off an incline path or incline trajectory here. So, yeah, this is, when I'm working this direction, I'm going down. So I definitely need to get my hands more down. Down. So this means they also have to get more right. Correct. Exactly. Yep, exactly. So, so if you're rotating, then it goes out, and then you're, down. you're rotating it out, and now you end up going down. There's and like you a couple just to get the face. Exactly. And that's when you get like a lot of clip head speed, but no, not much hump from the ball. If you put a lot of it across this way, but then the face is open to the path and not. So we're going to try to here at the back to the target. I'm letting it out on this rightward, this kind of railroad track here. Yeah. And that's when we talk about how the sequence of getting the arms really to control that from a motor control standpoint. In the right arm specifically. Yep. There it is. Sounds good. Here's your drop. Here. 